Hello folks, it's a wonderful day down here in the Florida on the Sun Coast. Several weeks ago, just before the coronavirus hit and we had to all stay at home, I took my fishing kayak down to the Gulf uh, and went fishing. Had a wonderful day of fishing. Uh, but I was working too hard pedaling my Slayer Propel 10 from point A to point B and also fighting against the tide. I was just plain working too hard and I decided I'm going to put a trolling motor on my kayak. Well, I looked on YouTube, saw a number of videos and came back with uh, several goals for this DIY project. The first goal for the project was I wanted it to look good and function well. Number two, I didn't want any permanent damage or change to the kayak. Number three, I wanted lightweight. I'm not exactly light myself and my Slayer Propel 10 is a 10 foot kayak and so you can't be adding a whole lot of weight of motor and battery to the, that kayak. Number four, I wanted a variable speed control on the motor. Uh, most of the trolling motors have five forward speeds and three reverse speeds so a variable speed uh, would give me a lot more control. I looked at a number of YouTube videos and some of them uh, put the trolling motor on the rear of the kayak, others on the side. I have a rudder on my kayak so I did not want to do anything to change that function. Therefore I need the trolling motor to be mounted on the side. Of the many videos I watched, the trolling motor mount that I believe would best meet my project goals was the real Blazer trolling motor mount. Their trolling motor mount is made of square aluminum tubing with the built up section on one end to attach the motor. The entire motor mount is then attached to the two rail blazer star ports that are mounted on the kayak. The motor mount can be taken off the kayak, leaving only the two star ports. The problem is the cost of the rail blazer trolling motor mount is over $180. I just didn't want to pay that much for something I think I could do myself. I think I can make a pretty good do-it-yourself project out of a rail blazer style trolling motor mount. Let's see how I did it. Aluminum would have been my preferred product of choice, but that was very expensive to get at least four foot piece online. So the next best thing was galvanized uh, steel. And this is a piece of a top pipe of the chain link fence. And so I bought that at Lowe's. You can get it at Home Depot also. One and a half inch diameter lighter weight than the the vertical post they're thicker so what I did was cut it and build it up on one end now the top piece has another piece of of the galvanized pipe and a three-quarter piece of uh, PVC as a spacer in between I used four inch stainless steel by one quarter inch diameter uh, bolts bolted the three pipes together then to make a smooth surface for the trolling motor to be mounted on this is a less than two dollar piece of cutting board that I got from Walmart and used my saber saw to cut it, uh, drilled holes in it and put stainless steel bolts to it. Uh, to make it look pretty I put on end caps that I got off Amazon there for one and a half inch. One little issue was the end cap came in and <laughs> was hitting the the screw so I had to cut a little bit of the end cap off 
on the end and uh, put some uh, silicone sealant on the on there to hold it in works just fine and it looks good too also on Amazon I bought two of the rail blazer mounts I like this four uh, hole one better because I could uh, felt it would hold more securely and you lock it by doing by pushing this button to get it mounted uh, I had to go through my only access port in the rear I had to remove my fishing rod holders on both sides I had to drill out the rivets in, uh, in order to take them out and be sure you can reach wherever you're going to mount them and get under there with your hand the trolling motor mount needs to be securely fastened to the kayak hull due to the weight of the motor and the pressures it will exert in operation on the star ports. That is why I use the stainless steel bolts instead of pop rivets or the expandable washers to secure the star ports. To secure the trolling motor mount to the star ports, you need a pack of the Railblazer attachment adapter. There are two adapters per pack. The part number is RB-BC25.A on the package or 02-4043-11 on the Railblazer website. These are used to attach various items to the star ports. I used only the bottom part of the attachment adapter. The bolt that came in the package was too short. I replaced it with a two and a half inch by one quarter inch stainless steel bolt. The bolt head would not fit into the hole in the attachment adapter so I had to take my bench grinder and round off some of the bolt head. It may be difficult to see but I had to angle the holes for the attachment adapters on both sides of the motor mount. Both star ports sat on the kayak at an angle due to the natural slope of the kayak. I attached the bolts with stainless steel washers and one quarter inch lock nuts. Once the motor mount is placed in the star ports, you push the slide bar to lock it. With the washers and lock nuts installed, there will be some rocking of the motor mount. When this happened, I thought, oh no, could I have done something wrong? Then I remembered that the real blaze of motor mount came with a pad eye that is supposed to be attached to the side of the kayak. The real blaze of mounting plate has a small plastic hook that fits into the pad eye to keep the motor mount from rocking. I figured I could come up with something better. I took a uh, aluminum bar one and a half inches wide by one eighth inch thick cut it to the right uh, length to mount it from the top of the mounting screw to a convenient spot on my uh, landing gear and uh, of course if you don't have landing gear you could mount it to a, a, uh, your one of your track systems or uh, some other way but that gives very strong stability to the trolling motor mount so that's my version of the DIY Railblazer trolling motor mounting kit. So I think I did a pretty fair job. So 